when you're lonely and your heart is filled with despair, remember God cares. God cares for you. And when you're in doubt and you can't find your way, He will see you through. Yes, He will. Just call. Just call his name. Oh, how precious. Oh, precious is his name. When you're lonely and your heart is filled with despair,
before you to say thank you, Lord, even as we get ready to go into your word as you lead us down into the depths of your treasures. Speak to us, speak through us that our coming will not be in vain. If there's anybody viewing the message on today who don't know you in the pardoning of their sins, speak to their hearts, touch their minds, remind them of how much you love them and that there's nothing that can separate them from your love and that you died on Calvary's cross to cover their sins, rose that third day to pull them out, Lord. So strengthen them. And for those of us who love you, Lord, who made mistakes, strengthen our hearts and our walk with and for you on this day, Lord. We love you. We thank you. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. And thank God. Give an honor to Jesus Christ, who's the head of my life, to each of you, God's children. It is indeed a blessing to be in the house of the Lord uh, and to stand before you, even if it is virtually. We count it an honor and thank you for tuning in. And can't wait till we can worship together again. Uh, but in the meantime, be safe, stay safe, stay safe. We are walking through the book of Exodus. We're at Exodus chapter 12. I uh, want to call your attention to verses 30 uh, through verse 32. Exodus chapter 12, verses 30 uh, down through verse 32. Giving honor to Jesus Christ again, who's the head of my life, and to all of you God's children. Amen. Exodus uh, chapter 12, starting at the 30th verse, you'll find these words recorded therein. The Bible says, and Pharaoh rose up in the night he and all his servants and all the Egyptians and there was a great cry in Egypt for there was not a house where there was not one dead and he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said rise up get you forth from among my people both ye and the children of Israel, and go serve the Lord as you have said. Also, take your flocks and your herds as ye have said, and be gone, and bless me also. Amen. Just want to speak to your hearts from this subject. Hey, it's time to go. Hey, hey, it's time to go to go. It's time to go. Th this is not at crazy time. Th this is not burning rubber in the middle of the street with your chariot showing off in front of folk risking other people's lives. It, this is not that kind of time. This is not time to brag. This is not time to be a show off. It's time to get ready. No, mm -mm, you should be already getting ready. It's time to go. Your business plan, your ministry, it's time to go. This, this is not the time to be seeking to fight somebody, to argue over mess that doesn't matter. And where, when, when, when fights and, and shooting break out, we're taking one another others lives and it's not just an impact on the victim nor the shooter it's an, an impact on all those family and friends lives this is the time for us to come together and stop losing our minds it's time to pause and to unite not to fight we got to support each other in businesses freedom was not given to us or we had to fight for it and God has done a mighty work for you you. God worked so hard plague after plague dealing with the enemies of the children of Israel. God is moving things and stuff and folk out of your way because he wants you to do a great work for him. I mean this, this work was so powerful that when Pharaoh finally, kept, finally was broken he told them to get out of here but not only just not only get out of here but take all your stuff get out of here get out of here and when you leave notice that wasn't that kind of funny he, he who would not acknowledge God at the end of verse 32 he says bless me also that this is what God is trying to get you to see you are being set up 
to turn somebody's life around. God is trying to bless you in the midst of the storm. God is trying to raise you to another level. We talked last week about being ready to go, having your bags packed, tightening up your shoes, sanctifying yourself so that you're ready for the work of, the, of our God. Our Lord is calling you to heights unknown, things that we've never seen or heard of before. God is moving. You can't keep acting crazy. You can't keep getting mad at folk on Facebook and going off, being a saint one minute and a cussing sinner the next. No, it's time for us to get right. It's time for us to come together. It's time for us to grab our stuff and go. Go serve the Lord. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. But you need to understand. You need to understand you're preparing to go. You're preparing to go. Why, why am I preparing to go? You ain't just going to show out. You ain't just getting a new business so you can have more money. God is not about to bless you just so you can smile and wear fancy, nice clothes and then look down on other folk. No, this season is unique and special because God plans to use you. God is up to something. God is up to you. God is going to use you. So in this season, in this season, look look first at verse 31. For, for, for you're going for the service of the Lord. You, it's time to go, but it's time to go with a purpose. It's time to go with a plan. Don't just leave quarantine and go back and do the same old thing. You need to do something different in this season. You've had time to prepare to get into God's word, to strengthen your worship, your relationship, your prayer time, your meditation time. Now you need to be gearing up and ready to go. To go. Verse 31. He tells him to go that they may might serve the Lord. Verse 31, the end of verse 31, go serve the Lord. Go serve the Lord. When you leave here, you've been blabbing about church. When time for the doors to open, don't not show up. Don't, don't not show up when it's time to go and volunteer on behalf of the church. Don't go. Don't 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 shut down now. Don't don't shut down from fellowshipping with other churches. Now you need to serve the Lord everywhere, every time, every chance you get. You need to magnify, make a joyful noise, boast about your God, brag about your God, because He's releasing you into your destiny to serve Him. Not to serve your mama or your daddy, not to serve your pastor, not to serve yourself, but to serve the Lord. He releases them, in verse 31, to go and serve the Lord. Remember, Pharaoh didn't release them. God did it. He just allowed Pharaoh to, to come to his senses, at least for a little while anyway, and say, yeah, let, go, go, get out of here, be gone, and tell God to bless me also. That's what he said. Those are Pharaoh's words. But, but to prepare to go, to prepare to go, you have to be ready to go and serve the Lord. But then you need to be prepared to prepare, preparing to go with the favor of the Lord. Look, look down there. The Bible says that they they leave. They they're gonna leave. Verse thirty three. Without haste, they're they're taking unleavened bread and they got their clothes on their shoulders and they they're going according to the word of of Moses. Verse thirty five. The Egyptians gives them silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. I'll, I I mean, don't 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 miss don't miss. That. Don't 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 miss that. God has had you cooped up. God has had folk talking about you, getting on your nerve, making you mad in quarantine. And now God's about to break some chains, about to release you to go and do great works. And while he's releasing you, if you understand you're going to serve him, God is going to pour favor out on your behalf. The Egyptians, the enemies are going to give them everything they need for their journey. Go Gold and silver. Your, your, your bank account is going to be blessed. Your car is going to ride better. Your business is going to bloom. You're going to have customers that you ain't never known before coming out the woodworks to bless you because God is on your side. The Bible says if God be for us, who can be against us? When you leave, go and serve the Lord. If you go and serve the Lord, favor is on your side. The favor of the Lord is on us. The favor of the Lord is guiding you and guarding you. You will do things that have never been done before because the favor 
of the Lord is on you. Don't worry about your enemies. They're going to bless you. The Bible says that he'll make your enemies your footstool. The Bible says he'll prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. I tell you, just trust God. Just trust God. Serve God. Serve God. Serve God. And when you prepare to go as you're getting ready to go, go to serve the Lord. You got to know why you're going. Go to serve the Lord. Go with the favor of the Lord on you. You know that God is on your side. You have no doubt. There is no wavering of your faith. You know without the shadow of the doubt that God is with you. And if God is with you, who can stand against you? You know this. You know this. And then when you go, I told you you ain't going by yourself. I told you you're not going for yourself. When you read verse 42, it tells you that you're going for the glory of the Lord. <clears throat> Don't miss this. This, this. this got good to me. This, this is good. It says that it is night to be much, of, of much observed unto the Lord to bring them out of the land of Egypt. This is that night of the Lord to be observed of all the children of Israel. God, God, God is observing all of this. Look, 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 look at this as it leads up to this. Don't, don't, don't miss this. When you walk down through it, the, the, it, it just gets exciting. Don't, don't, don't miss this. It's, 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 this thing is not about you. Don't don't miss this. This this is not about your your family alone. This is is about something bigger than anything that you can imagine. I mean, picture this in your Bible. Oh, what a sight! The children of Israel have left Egypt. They're they're leaving, and your Bible says in verse thirty seven there was oh there was six hundred thousand men, not counting the women and the children. Ooh, we what a sight! What a sight! Don't miss this. Don't miss this. Verse 39 says they were going with bags in one hand and breakfast in another hand. Mm -mm, don't miss this. Don't miss this. Oh, what a sight. What an amazing sight. Over 6,000 men and without women and children, not counting them. They're going with their bags in one hand and their breakfast in another hand. Verse 41 says that they've been, they've been in this bondage for over 400, for 430 years. For 430 years, they've been crying to the Lord. For 430 years has been getting worse and not better. Some of y'all been in sickness for years. You've been dealing with issues for years on the job with your family and it seemed like it's, there's no breakthrough. Nothing is going to happen. But the Bible says that it happened suddenly in the midnight hour. When just all of a sudden God broke through and he allowed them to go out free. Don't miss this. Observe the glory of the Lord as all of this was happening as they were leaving as as they were walking after 430 years of crying and toiling to the Lord in the middle of the night. Get your bags and go. Get out of here. Your freedom has come. Your Bible says in verse 42 that God, the Lord, observed it all. Yep, that's what it says. He was watching the children of Israel. I want you to know this right here. He was there all the time. He never left you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. That's why we sing everything that happened to me that was good. God did it. <laughs> yeah, yo, 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 I'll be able to breathe in and breathe out. God did it. You waking up this morning. God did it. Clothed and in your right mind. God did it. The fact that Jesus hung, bled, died, rose for me and sent me the Holy Ghost. I know everything is going to be all right. I know everything is going to be all right. Even when I don't feel it, I know he's moving in my direction. God is always up to something. God is always trying to bless you and not curse you. So you need to acknowledge that simple fact. God did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you're able to move today because God did it. You can clap your hands because God did it. You can wave your arms because God did it. Everything that happened to me that was good. God did it, God did it, God did it, and because God did it, I don't know about you, but right here, right now, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. My soul will magnify his holy name. And the psalmist said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. That's what I want you to do right here, right now, wherever you are. Praise his holy name. Lift up your voice. Make a joyful noise on your couch, in your car, because God is moving in your direction. He's leaning on your behalf. He's dealing with some enemies. He's dealing with some bills and some debt. God wants to bless you.
But you got to get ready. You got to move. You got to do what God is calling you to do. And even when you don't feel like it, know that the Lord is there all the time. He was observing all that was unfolding. Every plague, every time Pharaoh's heart hardened up, and he said, no, I will not let them go. Every time he said, I don't know this Lord, the Lord was there. The children of Israel just had to keep waiting and keep praying. That's your task. Keep fasting. Keep praying. Things are going to get better. Your healing is on the way. Your deliverance is on the way. Can you trust God? Even when you can't trace them, know that God did it. He allowed this for a reason. You'll come out in due season if you faint not. Hold on, because God's not through blessing you. Will you pray with me? Father God, if there's anybody today who's wondering how much you love them, how much you care, remind them that you're with them always even until the end of the world. Remind them that you never left them and that you will never leave them nor forsake them. Even in this island, in a pandemic, in this season of bitterness and brokenness, you are yet opening doors. You are sending soothing and comfort our way. And we receive it by faith. We trust you, O oh Lord. Work it out for our good. We know that all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord, who are the called according to your purpose. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. And thank God. Send us saints. It's time to go. Get right, church. Let's go home. Let's do what God is calling us to do. It's time to go. Y'all don't mind, put your hands together for a little while. Everything that happened to me that was good, God did. God did. I know he did. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, everything that happened to me that was good, God did. God did. I know he did. Oh, yes, he did. Once I was sick and I thought I could. He touched my body. Now I'm gonna tell everything that happened to me that was good. God did. God did. I know He. Did. Oh yes, He did. I said everything that happened to me that was good. God did. God did. I know He. Did. Oh yes, He did. Oh, everything that happened to me that was good. God did. God did. I know he did. Oh, yes, 